Uh, Homer's screw you is unacceptable. As an alternate, we will accept forget you. I know how many times I've told people off, tell them, forget you, man. It's very effective. Uh, let's see. The decapitation of the French soldier is unacceptable. Please find another way to kill him. <laughs> the sign reading the Lazy Eye Ranch with a sign below reading formerly Lazy Eye Japanese internment camp is unacceptable. <laughs> that is pretty awful. <laughs> I think I might have to agree with him on that one. And, oh, uh, says, well, this, oh, oh, do not have Homer smoking the reefer. Well, we know that. So. Sometimes we put things in just so that it's to distract their attention from something else we're trying to sneak in. Uh, we did one of those th uh, last season. There was a joke on the show where Homer, we were, wanted to do, have Homer taking a Viagra type drug, uh, but we couldn't say the word Viagra, so we had to come up with our own name for it. So we called it Bonestra. And they said that was unacceptable for broadcast, and they asked us to provide an alternative. So as a joke, we sent over one called Jam It In. <laughs> and that's the one that's in the show. <laughs> Let me know if I've crossed a line here. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah come on they're all 18 right all right let me I actually lost my place here and I was being so good oh here we go right here all right so that that's the end of the censor oh I'll tell you one very quick censor story from Fox just because when you go out into your adult life please do not become one of these people who's dying to be offended by something you see on television not that there aren't offensive things, there truly are, and I believe there are people that cross the line like that, but there are also people who just sit by their TV at night with a pad just waiting to be offended. The Simpsons has been on for almost 20 years. If you really don't like it, maybe it's time to change the channel. <laughs> yeah. I think a great age for kids to start watching the show really, truly is around uh, eight or nine years old. I think they can pick up on some of the humor. And it's kind of like Rocky and Bullwinkle when we were kids. They were doing a different show than, uh, than we thought they were doing. They were doing a show with jokes for adults. They were doing political humor. And we thought it was about a talking moose. Uh, so, Anyhow, uh, one quick Fox Sensor story. Years ago, we did a Super Bowl episode, and we wanted to do a parody of a Super Bowl commercial where the commercial is so crazy, you can't really tell what the product is because the commercial is so nuts. So we did a parody of a uh, ZZ Top commercial. And I know you kids out there love ZZ Top. But uh, anyhow, we wanted to do like a music video with a nerdy guy driving through the desert, and he pulls into this little gas station. And uh, when he pulls in there, these three girls come out and, you know, they very sexually and suggestively pop the hood and put the nozzle in the gas tank. And uh, so we did the whole thing, but we didn't know what the product was going to be at the end of the commercial. So uh, finally, what, we just needed a tagline. And one of the writers said, the Catholic Church. <laughs> We've made a few changes. <laughs> We thought it was funny because it was so out of context with the commercial that people would not be offended by it. But sure enough, the Fox censor called and he said, you cannot say the Catholic Church in an episode. And he said, it's incredibly offensive to people's religions. And we didn't want to offend people's religions, but he kept this argument up. We explained our side. He maintained it was offensive to religion. So, but finally I said, well, we're not changing it. If you want to, you can change it. And he suggested a compromise. How about if we change it to Methodist? <laughs> so I said, it's okay to offend Methodists, but not okay to offend, so anyway, That's the kind of you know, stuff you see when, you, when you're trying to put a show together. Those are the notes you get. Anyhow, what's it been, like four or five hours now? Uh, 
the class of 2009 is actually lining up outside. Uh, <laughs> all right, I don't want to close a commencement speech quoting the Fox Census, so I think I'm supposed to have some words of my, wisdom that from of my own. So uh, never have the, the phrase, here goes nothing, meant more. Uh, number one, know what's going on in the world, because it will affect you. Read a newspaper or watch a half hour of a TV news channel every day, and I don't mean the E channel, Sarah. <laughs> or the Fox News channel, for that matter. Uh, <laughs> You can actually get more accurate reporting on the E Channel than you can. If I, try CNN, MSNBC. Just watch for a half an hour, 20 minutes. You know, it's kind of, if TV news is too depressing, watch people like Jon Stewart, Stephen Colbert, Bill Maher show on HBO. You'll learn something while you're laughing. So you got to know what's going on. Regarding the environment, you know, I could lecture you for hours about the you know, trouble our environment is in. But here's the bottom line. My generation destroyed the planet, and we're counting on you to clean it up. <laughs> Sorry. We, f we feel awful about it. We do. But we're, we're older, we're tired, we're getting Botox, you know, it's just priorities, you know. Uh, plus, we cleaned your rooms up all those years, so it's kind of the same thing. Number three. Get mad. Not right now, but uh, I think we've become too apathetic as a society. We need to get, are there little kids here? Uh, okay. We need to get teed off more. We need to get pissed once in a while. We're paying $4 a gallon for gas and the oil companies are reaping record profits and that's just expletive deleted wrong, man. It's wrong. The expletive deleted was fucking. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, that's where the big cane comes out and they just yank me right off the stage. Really, get mad about stuff. This is gonna ha it's just going to get worse and worse, and you got to stand up and fight for it. And, uh, and I don't know how these oil company executives stand there and look us in the face while they're you know, stashing all this money in their pockets. It's, if someone could invent a car that ran on oil executive companies' bullshit, the whole problem would be solved. <laughs> If you can't get mad, then at least don't become an oil company executive. Uh, do that. All right, number four. Uh, this list goes for like 38. Is that okay? All right. Stop watching so many damn reality shows. <laughs> You're killing writers. <laughs> I mean, American Idol and the dancing show and the models and the chefs and all that. Those are fine. Those are like game shows. We can deal with those. But like. Rock of love? Come on, a washed up rock star who sucked the first time around, by the way, you know, is, seeks true love by climbing into a hot tub filled with a dozen skanks. Is that really entertainment? <laughs> is that really past for what entertainment? You're college graduates, you're smarter than this crap. Number five, don't be afraid to pursue your dreams, even if everyone tells you your dreams are crazy. Unless, of course, they really are crazy. Then get a real job right away, so. Uh, let's see, well, I was gonna lecture about stealing music from the internet, but I'll let that slide. <laughs> Most important, vote in this year's presidential election. <laughs> Unless you're voting for McCain, then please stay home. <laughs> no, he's a fine man, and he is, he's a credit to our country, but I, I, I don't, he may be a little old for the job. I think he's thinking of adding Dick Clark as his vice president, so, uh, <laughs> to add some youth to the ticket, you know? So. 